Hey guys, how you doing? Take a look at that hitch. I mean, it's got even prints on it. Marked on the letters. Can't recall what it is. Can't see them, but take a look at that hitch. It's about half an inch thick stainless steel bolted onto this body. Well, you guys think this is what it is. Guess what, guys? This is on the road. Finally, we got it insured and ready to go. Well, something new, right? We got rid of that old rubber mats and I got the heavy duty Ford mats and the back ones are just the regular ones but I did go ahead and really speak and span this truck, clean it real nice and uh... But this baby is set in been ready to go been driving this for now and guess what my black car finally quits on me and I send it away I give it a farewell and uh, we got this baby right now so definitely we've been running this for sometimes a couple of weeks now yeah so you won't get to see the black one anymore and uh, clean the windows and make it really look nice really nice really really nice well, I'm going to tell you what I just did inside the engine. So let's, why don't we go over there and let me show them to you. Here we go. All right, let's see what we did. Uh-huh. Just want to take a look. Everything looks to me pretty normal. Uh, let's see, yeah. What we did was we put in a brand new filter there also we did go ahead and remove all these top components and uh, we did go ahead and put brand new valve gaskets valve cover gaskets and because uh, pretty much it was leaking back there but there was uh, leakage back there actually uh, it was a lot of oil leaking so we got that covered and we have where's the fourth plug there it is so we got brand new spark plugs brand new cables right there so we got four four on each side um, so yeah we got the covers small covers because we had a heavy leak and then I did the I did go ahead and we moved this area here too. We got all the valve cover ga gaskets are brand new. Nothing is leaking right now. We got a brand new uh, steering pump and we got all brand new cables and brand new spark plugs. I was gonna document that old spark plugs. The guy who ever put it in there was loose and there was some fuel around the screws of that plug. Let me see this one. This is good. Uh, I need to make sure if this thing works. I want to make sure this is really working. And let me see the belts here. The belts look good. Yeah, that's it. Um, my next thing is, guys, I don't know, let me know if you suggest me to do it or not. But um, I want to change the carburetor because the carburetor is leaking a little bit fuel. And, and it's running way too rich, way, way, way too rich. So, I want to make sure that uh, when I do change a carburetor, I for sure I don't think I want to go stock carburetor because stock carburetor, uh, it's all reman and I don't want to reman. So I was thinking about going with a Holly carburetor, four barrel and a single injector inside. Um, I'd rather than two, so that way I can save fuel. I guess 600 CFM or something it's called. Um, but based on Summit, I contacted and they recommended me to get that particular that particular carburetor. Now it's going to be a hauling uh, four barrel carb with an extension on the bottom adapter where um, we need to put it on. And I got plenty of room here, so I guess I could use that adapter. 
But once I do that, it looks like uh, it looks to me that um, as might as well I should go ahead with putting aluminum heavy duty ball covers. So if we go ahead and do that, the ball covers, then all these uh, breeders are going to disappear. So everything else is going to be customized. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and change the carburetor. So let me know what type of carburetor do I need so I can save some fuel on this. Until then, fellas, that's it. That's pretty much it. That, mm, yep, yep, that's pretty much it. She's going to get a nice wash. And another thing, this battery, look how tiny this battery is. Whoever put this battery, seriously, this is too small. I mean, you're running a 460 7.5 liter engine, and this battery is too small. What is this? Can't even read it. 56.72. That's the part number. I can't read it. I can't make it out. Superstar trim. Whatever. All right. That's pretty much it, guys. And she is on the road now. I'll be driving this. I am so excited.